Imagine walking through life with an invisible barrier around you, a barrier that no one else can see, but you feel it with every step you take. This barrier is built by words, actions, and silences, ones that don't leave a mark on the skin but resonate deeply within the soul. Today we're peeling back the veil on a silent epidemic, one that thrives in the unseen corners of our daily lives, emotional abuse. In this journey, we will explore what lies beneath the surface of emotional manipulation, understand its impact, and most importantly, discover the first steps towards healing and reclaiming your inner strength. If you've ever felt undermined, manipulated, or unheard, you're not alone, and this message is for you. When we talk about emotional abuse, we speak of an invisible force that can alter the landscape of our inner lives. It's not just about the harsh words or cold silences, it's about the erosion of our sense of self. Have you ever felt like you were losing parts of yourself to someone else's unkindness? That's where the subtlety of emotional abuse lies. It's the gradual dimming of your light, making you question your worth, your decisions, and your reality. If you're standing in the aftermath wondering how to pick up the pieces, know that healing is both possible and deserved. It's a process that doesn't rush. It unfolds in its own time. And the first question to ask yourself is not, why did this happen? But rather, what can I do now to start feeling better? It's a shift from looking back to moving forward. As you navigate this process, you may feel a spectrum of emotions, anger, sadness, confusion. These are natural. Have you given yourself permission to feel them? To truly heal, it's important to acknowledge these emotions without judgment. They are signposts on your journey, not obstacles. Healing also means relearning to trust, trust in yourself, trust in others, and trust in the process of change. How can you start to rebuild trust in a way that feels safe for you? Seeking support is a courageous step. It's reaching out into the vastness of human connection and saying, here I am in need. Who in your life can hold space for your story? Sometimes a listening ear is the first beacon of hope on the long road to recovery. Other times, it's the empathetic guidance of a therapist that illuminates the way. Can you take a step today to reach out to someone who can offer support? Self-care is another cornerstone of healing from emotional abuse. It's an act of reclaiming your time, your space, your right to wellness. What does self-care mean for you? Is it a quiet hour with a book, the soothing rhythm of a walk, or perhaps the creative outlet of painting or writing? It's about doing things that refill your cup reminding you that you are worthy of care and love. Boundaries are your personal rules of engagement that protect your well-being. Boundaries aren't just about saying no. They're about opening the door to yes, yes to experiences that enrich you, relationships that support you, and to the self-care that sustains you. How will you honor your yes today? Have you thought about what boundaries you need to feel safe and respected? Setting them is a declaration of your worth, Setting boundaries can also mean learning to listen to your intuition. Have you ever felt a gut feeling that something wasn't right? Trusting that inner voice is a skill that can be honed. It's your internal compass, guiding you towards what is healthy and right for you. It's okay to say no, to step back, to choose who gets to be in your life and how much space they occupy. As you heal, you might rediscover old passions or find new ones. You might reconnect with friends or make new ones. With each new connection and rediscovered joy, ask yourself, how does this enrich my life? These are the building blocks of a new foundation, one that is built on self-respect and happiness. Healing is also about rewriting the narrative of your life. Rewriting your narrative is an act of reclaiming your voice. Have you taken a moment to listen to what it's been yearning to say? It might whisper of forgotten dreams or shout for new beginnings. No longer a story where you're a passive character, but one where you are the author. What stories do you want to tell about yourself from now on? This is your life, your script, your stage. And remember, healing is not a race. It doesn't have a finish line. Instead, it's a path you walk, with each step taking you further from the pain of the past and closer to the hope of the future. Be gentle with yourself on this path. Ask yourself each day, what do I need to support my healing today? Whether it's a moment of peace, an act of kindness, or a gesture of self-love, it's all part of the journey. 
In this journey, there will be moments of doubt and moments of triumph. Each day won't be perfect and that's okay. Healing isn't about perfection, it's about progression. It's about choosing each day to take another step towards a life where you are valued, where your emotions are valid, and where your voice is strong. Finally, allow yourself to dream again. What are the hopes and dreams that were put aside? Revisit them, nurture them. Your past doesn't have to define your future. You have the strength to create a life that's filled with joy, respect, and love. So what's the first dream you'll chase on your path to healing? It's not just a journey back to yourself. It's a journey to the person you're becoming, the person you were always meant to be. As you continue to heal, to set boundaries and to rediscover joy, know that every day is a new chance, a chance to choose hope, to choose growth, to choose life. How will you choose to step forward today?